Italy actually is using open government approaches to tackle corruption, both at a general level and a more operational level. Uh, let us think, for instance, at the transparency. Transparency is crucial. It's a non-GP pillar, but it's a measure against corruption, allowing people to control uh, political and administrative action. But, uh, of course, also education is a crucial matter. Uh, education is uh, uh, necessary in order to raise awareness on ethical issues and to increase and to spread a culture of integrity, more specifically by training civil servants, as we actually do it. Uh, for instance, in my administration, which is the National School of Administration, uh, training uh, civil servants on the specific issue of uh, uh, corruption prevention. And uh, there is also a third uh, pillar, which is also very, very important, uh, uh, the participation of civil society. Um, the, a strong commitment, a strong engagement of civil society has uh, proved to be crucial in the implementation process of the fifth NEP. As far as my action is concerned, uh, I'm making reference to action two, uh, we had to uh, set up and create a community of practice of anti-corruption official. And in this concern, uh, the contribution, the role of civil society was really, really important. And it's not just a role uh, such as a a monitoring or a consulting role. They really offer their contribution in the creating uh, process and also offering themes and suggestions and the issues to the content of the action. Uh, in this case, we can really have a sort of best practice of a, a dialogue, a synergy between uh, public administration and the civil society. And I think this is uh, the way we should follow also for the future.